Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm kind of excited to check this out because we had an unexpected patch, at least, you know, in the laundry list that they put out, I think like two weeks ago now, they mentioned there's gonna be two patches this month, but I wasn't expecting this one today. I was actually curious about when the patch for My Wedding Story is supposed to come out. But anyways, when you log into The Sims after you update your game, you get greeted with this notification that says, update, more life added. Neighbors can now have kids, get jobs, and die in accidents without help which is something that I've been wanting because, you know, like the whole neighborhood stories thing that we have right now with calling you up and giving you prompts and stuff. And I just don't like that. I, I don't like having to kind of control all these Sims lives and stuff like that. If it's happening on its own and naturally, I appreciate that a bit more. So then you can go to their website and it basically tells you about the neighborhood story system. So it says, the first major addition is life changes for all neighbor Sims with or without relationships to the active household. So that's, that I like, cause I feel like a lot of the time you have to have a relationship with the um, Sims in order to be able to like kind of control what they're doing. And I like that you don't have to have a relationship with them. So uh, it says that the new neighborhood story system opens up interesting autonomous changes all over the world. Some of the changes are adopt young sims into their household age between infant and toddler become pregnant with their significant other and eventually deliver family oriented sims are more likely to do this while non-committal sims are less likely if a sim or their significant other hates children they will never do this some sims may instead adopt a dog or a cat but this requires the sims for cats and dogs join and leave careers sim traits heavily influence these decisions elder sims may decide to retire Households can move into and out of lots and then die in different kinds of accidents depending on risk factors such as age, traits, and career. All these life changes let neighbor sims have richer, fuller lives and evolve over time. They grow up in a family, get jobs, move around, raise children, and eventually die, possibly before their time. Some of these changes are obviously more significant than others. Cough, death. So now you have like a whole system where you can uh, configure the neighborhood stories. I will also go in game and like experiment with this because I'm really curious. You're now able to tune which life changes neighborhood sims can and cannot have. Which I like that because let's say if you don't want sims dying in accidents that you want to have like a part of your story or something like that. That makes sense. I'm really excited to see if they're going to implement any more in the future. Like this is a really good update for neighborhood stories because this is such a better way to go about it in my opinion um so it all starts in the manage household panel so over here you choose how the neighborhood stories affect your game independent configurations for my household versus other households for each group of households in a particular tab you can choose to enable or disable each type of life change and even disallow all neighborhood stories for those households this provides a fast and easy way to decide what happens to played households in my household versus other households out of the world. Rotational players, we see you. Oh my, that's so good. By default, neighborhood stories is enabled for other households and disabled for my households. Above all else, we want to avoid unintended changes to long running games that we know you've put a lot of love into. I'm like so excited for this. So then you'll see this button. Household specific configurations, want even more to control? Do you have a vision for which households need which type of life changes? You can make it happen. Each and every household can have its own configuration, allowing you to tailor life changes that make sense to that household storyline. Wow, that's actually really good. Global enable slash disable setting. If life changes happening all over the world are just not your thing, that's okay. Neighborhood stories can be entirely disabled under game options using the reset custom configurations button. Love that that's optional. Neighbor sims, friends, and will still occasionally call asking for advice about life changes unless your sims phone is on silent. Oh, okay. So that's still a thing. All right. Okay. Uh, I thought that was going to like get rid of that whole aspect, but I guess it doesn't. Like other game options, neighborhood stories configurations exist on a per se basis because each of your saves has its own settings. You can switch back and forth between them without having to reconfigure anything, just load up and let the stories roll. So, oh, oh my God. Okay, what are your neighbor sims up to? One last thing to know, these life changes are happening out in the world, beyond the active household. 
This means that sometimes your sims will never come in contact with the results of these life changes. Still, even if your sims don't see it, maybe you want to know everything that's happened. On any mailbox, try the new Check Recent Neighborhood Stories interaction. You can keep tabs on all the recent neighborhood stories if you're so inclined. Use that information to visit the neighbor sims and see their life changes in person. I was just about to say, I wonder if you get notifications of the changes that are happening in the world. And this is exactly that. So you get to check... They have Willow Creek, the Spencer King Lewis household, recently adopted a child. Wait, that's so good. Okay, let's go into game because I can't wait. So I'm in my save file that has like no CC and very minimal mods. And this one particularly doesn't have MC Command Center because I want to go ahead and see what goes on. So, I mean, the game just started. I literally just made this sim real quick. Gave oh. her a cat. Oh my god. I haven't seen this big block in so long because my sister's be holding iPhones this whole time. I totally forgot how the phone looks. They need to update that. I'm going to be honest. Um, but yes, pet your cat. I love how you pet. I'm just really curious to see like how quick these changes are going to be happening. I doubt it's going to be really fast. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and check in case like you can start up and like things will change. Okay, nothing to note has happened recently. Check back tomorrow. Oh, so I think what I want to do actually is go into manage worlds because I want to try and pick out a family. So I just want to have them in my household section. Now we have them here. So go ahead and adjust enable neighborhood stories. So I'm going to actually just get rid of actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm going to leave all of these and see what happens. This, I don't know if this is necessary if. Like, obviously, I'm going to be playing with them, so I don't think it matters. But with other households, what's by default? Okay, by default, they have everything enabled. Okay, which is fine with me. This. Oh, so you can adjust. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So configure neighborhood stories for all households in my household. So this could be what you do for all the households. And then you have the same option here. So if I wanted to disable this. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. I'm actually curious to see what happens. I'm going to play a little bit. It'd be interesting instead of having to click on the mailbox, if like you were friends with them, you would get like notifications. Okay, I do kind of want to head back home though and see if changes are really that quick or if it takes a lot of time. Because I know with like MC Command Center, things start like working really fast. Like Sims, I could start a new save that day and sims are already getting pregnant so <laughs> i'm really curious to see how quick um changes can be happening check let's just see if okay so nothing happened recently okay <laughs> agnes you're riding a bike you is she about to hit this man you got your purse ready girl she ain't happy look at her burning to death lethal heat hey 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 Go here. It's morning time. I'm gonna wait until it's like eight o'clock because eight o'clock kind of marks the new day. Let's check. Any changes? Oh, the Jabari household has moved in. I don't know who the heck that is. I wonder if it's really slow story progression, which I mean, I guess is fine. So that doesn't get too chaotic too fast. Oh, okay, another one. The Uki. Pun. Ooh, I can't say that. In the Hikikia household has started a job as a goldfish hunter in the fisherman career. Okay. So things are starting to happen. The Lona household has moved in to Samai Shuno. Okay. Oh, wait. Things are happening. <gasps> Strangerville at the Sigrid household, Jess and Dil Dylan are preparing for their baby to be born. Ah. Okay. The Bro household recently moved out. Ooh, okay, so this, things are happening. The Fleming household recently moved in. The Bagley household recently moved in. Okay, so things are happening fairly quick. So there's there are things going on. Wait, I love that. Oh, I think we've hit the, the max. Nothing of note has happened recently. Check back tomorrow. Okay. So I guess there's only a certain amount of things that can happen within a day. Let's play until the next day then. Can I check any earlier? I doubt it. Okay. Oh, wait. So somebody moved in. Uh, Rami and Thomas are expecting a baby in the Watson family household. Uh, Eva in the party house household is now grand steward of the arts and arts critic career. 
A dog was adopted by the Hecking household. Oh, they got another pup. I'm actually gonna go check out these households though because I'm curious to see them. The most recent was the Hecking household, right? So let's check. So they should have another dog. Oh, they do! Amy. That's so cute. And that has a sweater on too. The other household that was the Sigworths are pregnant apparently. Okay, yeah, you can see. So it says eating for two, second trimester. Oh my god, wait, guys, I am I love that. I actually am so glad that you don't have to like keep, like they don't have to call you, you have to tell them. I mean, that's still, I think, a thing that happens. But the fact that this is happening autonomously and you can check, but I wish that the household that you have in here, you'd get like personal notifications just to see like what's going on. And if you want to check up on households that aren't related, like the other households, you can go ahead and look at the mailbox. But I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm excited to see if they're going to add any more things to the neighborhood stories options i'd be really interested to see what else they could add i think some other options i would love to see in here would be like marriage engagement divorce even like to cause drama i think that'd be really cool or even like if there's an option for cheating i can already feel that modders are going to probably do something with this i feel like there could be so many more added to this and i wonder if again they'll add some more in the future if you guys have any ideas of other uh things that could be added i'd love to hear your ideas one thing i want to try before we end off this video is specifically do dying accidents so i'm curious to see in what ways they can be dying so i'm gonna leave it at that we're gonna play another day and uh see how sims are dying <laughs> what the heck i haven't had this happen in literally like i don't even know how long like three years or four? What? I can't believe this. I'm stuffed, couldn't drink another bite. I won't turn her, but Renee's plasma is so delicious. It would take a lot of garlic to keep me away next time. I'll be back when I crave another midnight snack. Bitch, you better not be back. Stay away. I'm so sorry. I know we're just waiting for some chaos to happen, but what is this? Let me check and see if anybody's died neighborhood stories a baby was adopted in the calante house okay i don't care okay the calante house household adopted again uh no you're telling me nobody's dying not this next day anybody dead yet no okay so maybe sims aren't gonna be dropping dead like flies <laughs> okay another new day let's see uh, okay I really wanted to see what kind of accidental deaths can happen, but like nothing is happening. That's like the third day, right? Please, a death, please. Oh, a death. Oh, <gasps> Alika in the Kahua, I don't know, household has died. Alika stuck a finger in a plug and electricity came out. Wait, whose household is this? Oh my God. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, at the Sigworth household, Jess and Dylan welcomed their... Oh, congratulations. Oh, Leah asked a rabbit if it wanted a carrot, but the rabbit chose violence. Oh, yes, death. Oh my God, at least we got two deaths. Okay, so I wish it said in what town it happened as well. I want to say that's Sulani, but was it this household? Was that the last name? Oh my God, wait, I think it is from this household. I wonder if they get a specific moolah or something from the, from how they died. Wait, didn't they have a... Am I mistaken? Doesn't the sim live here? But if that's the case, and they have no, like, sadness for it, it's kind of weird. Don't mind this. My UI cheat is broken. Okay, so yeah, there is another sim in this household. And she's not even sad that her husband, he wasn't even in her relationships. He died, and then he just doesn't exist. <laughs> Is there even like a urn or anything? No urn. Hmm. I don't know how I like that. Like if, if the Sim dies, even if it's an accident, I would hope that the urn would be like on their lot. Cause like, let's say if that happens to one of your households, right? Do they just disappear from their relationships fully? Cause like, you know how even when a Sim dies, usually like you'll still see them here. Maybe if they had kids, Maybe then, like, you would see them here. Interesting. Oh, is this a new one? 
Hey, Renee, I think I have a crush on Becca Clark. Do you think it's worth a try? I don't think I've seen the crush one before. Uh, but sure. Yeah, you still get those. All right, well, that is it for today's video. I'm really excited to see how much further they can go with these neighborhood stories and see how they work. So with that being said, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.